firstly excuse the dorky hat and the very festive surrounding i'm aware that i look a little bit like a knob but that's okay i'm okay with it you should be okay with it too because it is december and i think this kind of behavior is acceptable maybe possibly but anyway i'm going to do a christmas tag today and this tag has been created by my friends lara and kerry i will leave both of their channels down below because if you're not already following them i think you should be because they are lovely now i would normally do like a christmas tag every december anyway and i saw them do this and i thought oh i'm going to do this one this time because i don't have to think of the questions myself so we've got a few questions here if you want to join in and answer i will leave them in the description bar below so you can leave them in the comments if you want to or if you youtube too then answer them in a video but firstly i'm going to get started with question number one which is what's your favorite christmas movie and my favorite christmas movie it's a oh can i pick an adult one and like a children's one i mean i'm asking permission i'm gonna do it anyway the the adult one for me is just love actually just because every year on christmas eve that's what mark and i do we watch love actually we have a few drinks and we wrap all the presents that we should have wrapped way earlier on in december i would like to think that this year that might change and we may have wrapped all the presents a lot earlier on but I highly doubt it. Um, I just, I love the, like, the memories of watching it year on year with him. And, like, I don't know, it just gives me the warm fuzzies. I love it. There are so many parts of it that just really embody Christmas. And I love that, like, parts of it are a bit shit. And, like, you know, they go through bad times because Christmas isn't always just perfect, is it? So, love actually has to be number one for me, like, as I'm a grown-up. But my favourite family festive movie is The Muppets Christmas Carol. And I realised that, like, I don't know if that's a big contender, to be honest, because I know that Polar Express is up there. People love, like, Elf and The Grinch and loads of different ones like Arthur Christmas. But... The Muppets Christmas Carol for me, like the Christmas Carol is age old, it's an age old tale and I watched the Muppets Christmas Carol as a kid as well and I loved it but the songs, like the the one from, um, what was he called, The Ghost of Christmas Present where he sings wherever you find love it feels like Christmas and it's bloody true but the kids love watching it every year obviously there's like little Muppets in it and they think it's all really funny and Oh, it's just a great one. I just think it's brilliant. So if you've not watched that one with your kids before, you you must, you really, really must. The next question is where are you spending Christmas this year? So Christmas can be quite complicated for us as a family because obviously I co-parent or Mark and I co-parent Bill with Bill's dad and Bill's dad's partner and we make sure that we share Christmas. It's really really important to us that we all get along, that Bill is loved on all sides and get to spend time with family on all sides. So it can be quite tricky because that means we can never really leave here um, due to like drop-offs and or him being collected and that kind of thing. So typically what we will do is that one year one of us will have Christmas Eve and Christmas Day morning drop off, drop off at midday and then the other one will have Christmas Day afternoon and Boxing Day and then like the time in between will obviously depend on like who is working or that kind of thing and what other plans are um, and then we switch so this year bill is going to be with his dad for christmas eve and christmas day morning so we stay here um until midday then when he gets dropped off we open his presents and we try and like it is quite difficult because obviously we've got to like make it christmas for daisy and stanley um and then we kind of like just wait for him to come back to us and it can be quite tough and it's, it's always a little bit emotional as you can imagine but it's the best thing for him and then once Bill is back with us we are going to my auntie Debbie's house and um, she lives like locally now she used to live down south for ages and she's moved back up to be near all of us which is lovely and she is a fantastic host like my auntie Debbie and uncle Jeremy are like cracking hosts they're so good at it and they've got a gorgeous home they moved into last year and um, it's gonna be like their first proper big Christmas in their house as well so I'm really excited about that and then boxing day because of like having to stay around here for bill we then go and see mark's family and that's just the way it works and it's lovely i love our little routine and like the tradition of it all is really nice so the next question is oh, i like this one what's your least favorite christmas food you know what it's gonna sound like a really really weird 
answer because I have to have it as part of Christmas dinner but I don't actually like rate it that much. <laughs> it's turkey. Like honestly, if I went to a Christmas dinner and it wasn't turkey, I would be a bit like, oh, beef or ham, that's not Christmas dinner. Because we've all got our own ways, haven't we? Like let's not argue about it. Like some people have to have beef, some people have to have like ham and turkey or just one or the other. But my family traditionally, ever since I was a little girl, has always been a turkey but I actually find it like to be quite a boring meat really and I don't really like it that much um I don't know I don't think you'll hate me for that surely I like I really like my veg I, I I like all like the pigs and blankets and stuffing and like roast potatoes and mash and gravy or oh, oh, I can't wait um but yeah turkey turkey but I have to have it but it's not the best part of the meal what gives um next question what is on your christmas wish list you know what i find it mm, i don't know about you but as an adult like when i was a young like a kid or like a teenager it was really easy to top up a christmas list because you didn't have like money or like you know the freedom to like choose things if you need them or whatever or you want them but as an adult like like I, I, I consider myself to be quite a lucky person and I don't really need anything and I don't really want that much so I, I quite like surprises I have to say like a lot of the time now my family members say what do you want I, I will usually say like a surprise because it's quite nice and I have found as, as I get older I prefer like an experience or like you know time to spend with someone so my mum and dad will often get us like a you know like something towards a date night for Mark and I and they will offer to have the kids and that's like a really special thing as parents do you know what I mean because you don't get it like as frequently otherwise um I have run out of Mark Jacobs Daisy and my grandma is getting that for me so I'm very excited about that but other than that I literally I can't think of anything um that's a really boring response I'm sorry but it's the truth <laughs> next question is what's the first thing that you do on Christmas day um I mean like the actual first thing is check what time it is and see which child has woken me up first I mean that's the god honest truth isn't it when you've got kids like we don't, we don't do anything else we, we just check the time and we hope that it's after six o'clock and if it is then you know that's all good it's all good i am fully fully expecting bill to be the one that wakes oh no he's not here oh 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 that's <laughs> okay maybe i think daisy will wake us up first possibly or no actually it could be stan because he's waking up bad at the moment i don't know um we will be waking up early i am sure and then traditionally what we will do is that i hang the children's stockings on their doors um i don't really know how i got into doing this because i didn't have a stocking as a child but it's exciting for them. They get their stocking and they take it up and they get to hang it on their doorknob themselves. And it's it's all it's just become something that we do. And then when they're in bed, we fill it. So the first thing that they're able to do when they wake up in the morning is check behind their door and see if Father Christmas has been. And it is oh it's a lovely like you know when you just hear a little like oh he's been he's been and that noise is just oh it makes my it warms my heart it really does and um then what the kids do they will bring all of their stockings onto our bed and they will open them in our bedroom and it's just like a nice teaser before we go downstairs and then obviously we'll go downstairs and we'll check if like he's he's been and the presents are there and if he's like eating the mince pie and like his whiskey or whatever it is that we're gonna leave him because Marchie uses that because he drinks it and um like a carrot for rudolph and all that and you know then the festivities begin and it's lovely but like oh i can't wait now but generally speaking like yeah just check the time and go please be after six o'clock and normally it's not too bad not too far off next question is do you wear your best on christmas day or comfies I wear both um my family like know what I'm like now so I will go I will like turn up wherever we're going in like a dress normally I normally wear a dress and tights and boots and like my big coat and then when we get in the house like end up taking the coat and boots off and I just like wear my dress and it's nice and comfortable I always wear one that's like normally like a skater style so it's never too tight on my tummy but I will always pack like leggings and a hoodie Um, we always walk home as well because obviously we'll all have had a few drinks and you know you do not drive 
arrive after that so I always pick, pack something like that that's just really comfortable to get home in and then when I've eaten too much cheese and like the leftover roast potatoes if there are any and then like more more cheese and you know cake or whatever then at least like I can just let my tummy be nice and round <laughs> and swollen and bloated and not have to worry about like tight squishing me in or whatever so I kind of do things half and half and it, the same goes for the kids as well like I will send them all like off on Christmas day in like festive attire like Christmas jumper or a Christmas dress or something like that but we will always pack their pajamas and then when we go home they'll all be in their pajamas and wrapped up snug and warm so that when we get in we can just pop them in bed and they have the ability to be like nice and comfortable as well um, and we've always done that and it works really well next question do you like brussels sprouts yes i bloody love them they're so good i do not understand why people hate them so much because i think they're so nice they are and I, my family will vouch for this like if my mum and dad are watching this my mum will comment down below and go she yes she bloody loves sprouts um i they're my favorite vegetable like i love i really love green veg i love like the the taste so much and i remember one christmas my i think it was my auntie julie had leftover sprouts like an entire bag and she was like oh, i don't know what to do with them she's not cut them yet and dad was like i'll take them for her and um, when we got home like i think it was a couple of days later my dad cooked them all and then he sauteed like some bacon lardons and chestnuts and butter and like mixed it all together and i basically just ate a bowl of sprouts and bacon and chestnuts and i was happy as larry so i love sprouts sprouts i don't understand why people don't like them my kids have a book called out smelly sprout that up until we read it bill ate sprouts and now won't eat them and none of them eat them and it drives me mental uh next question do you set a budget for presents yeah i have a budget every year with family members in mind and like the kids in mind as well and so throughout the year i will like make sure i put money aside i will buy presents early and i will really work towards that like everybody's budget is individual like we can't point fingers and point blame and say this is too much or too little like christmas is completely personal isn't it but i just do my best to make sure that i can like give what i want to give and what i feel like i can give um i love like my family so much and if i'm in the position to treat them at this time of year i definitely will do next question um what's your favorite christmas song okay i have two Actually, I've got, I've got three, maybe? Or can I have three? I don't know, they all like provoke different memories. I'm, I'm obviously a big fan of Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You because it's just, you know, it's just one of those songs that I've loved since a little girl and like, the, I just love the vibe of it and the little jingle and like, I love the video, like the vintage Christmas style and stuff and it's just always been one that I really, really love. Another one is, um, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Mark and I have a Christmas playlist that we made when we were like, I think like the first year, the first Christmas that we had together and we were adding songs all throughout December on Spotify and the first one that we've got is, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas and like every time I play it for the first time it's the first song that comes on and I love the lyrics of that and like it does kind of capture that creeping feeling of like the festive season and yeah I just think it's lovely and then my final song that you might recognize if you've seen my like end of year roundup vlog that I do every year is um When the Thames Froze by Smith and Burroughs if you've never ever heard of it it's just a beautiful song it's not typically jingly festive or anything like that but mark actually introduced me to that song and i play it because it just i don't know you have to listen to it i'll leave that link down below because you have to listen to that song right and the final question because i've rambled long enough um new year's eve in or out so i have children <laughs> So what else am I going to do? It's normally in, but it will be spent with family. So this year, for example, we are going to my grandma and grandpa's house and we have drinks and we have a buffet and we play games and we let the kids stay up as late as they want to and we dance to Old Lang Syne and all get a bit tearful and merry and it's just a, a really, really like lovely night. I really, really look forward to it. 
and um, you know maybe in the future we might go out again but for now I like I love coming together again with the people that I love on the last day of the year and just seeing it in with them like seeing in a new year with them plus it's my dad's birthday on New Year's Eve so I'm always making sure that I'm around like for him because it must be pretty sucky to have a birthday that falls on like another special day of the year and um, he, he's my dad and I love him so I always check what my mum and dad are doing first and then like kind of go from there. Um, I'm really excited for this New Year's, I think it's going to be dead good fun. And yeah, that is the end of these questions. So as I mentioned, I will leave them listed down below for you so if you'd like to join in, you can do. And I just hope you enjoyed this chatty little festive video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I will leave that down to you obviously but I'm doing festive videos every other day um up until Christmas so if you would like to see like festive vlogs and things like that then you might enjoy it but yeah I will see you very soon and thank you very much for watching